sisters good morning our people i am so sorry we are running behind today we have some technical issues and um, we're still having it but we're trying to manage what we can today to get uh, started knowing that we've wasted like an hour from our starting time so thank you for being patient with us i am so sorry this is the best that we can do we are really trying we're not it people but we are doing this to make sure that the message goes out to our people so again my name is mona jim saga and i'm here with my wonderful sisters i'm gonna have them to introduce introduce themselves yeah good morning viewers um thank you all for you know hanging in there for some reason the devil wanted to play a smart one but thank god we're smarter thank you all for joining us my name is augusta nasuke in uh, richmond texas thank you sister augusta sister P. please go ahead um uh, thank you, our viewers and well wishers. Good morning. Thank you for hanging in there, waiting for us. We appreciate you. My name is Ekuta Simon Okube. Before we start this morning, we will want to set certain parameters. First of all, we want you to know that we are not doing this. I mean, that what we're doing here is beyond your little clans villages, towns, tribes, and ethnicity. We are here to enthrone righteousness and justice, to restore dignity to humanity, power and liberty to people that need it most. So if these are your goals, irrespective of your tribe, ethnicity, or religious affiliations, we invite you to come along. This talk show is for you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sister Queen. So our topic today, we try to send these topics out every uh, Wednesday or Thursday so that you guys can be in tune with what we are talking about. So our topic today is the 68 item federal executive exclusive list. The 68 item federal executive list. By the way, we posted a copy of this on our platform. So if you go to Data of Truth, we posted the whole um, list um, so that you can follow as we go. We are intending to put up a PowerPoint uh, as well for you to um, see where we're going with this and get a uh, visual visual picture of what we're saying. Uh, hopefully it will work. So amidst the increasing sufferings and miseries of the people in Nigeria that has become the poverty capital of the world and amidst the horrifying escalation of insecurity and hopelessness across the land. We would like to beam our focus today on the notorious 68 item federal exclusive legislative list which is contained in the so-called 1999 constitution we all know that these 68 items are directly responsible for the worst aspect of the torment nigeria has become for its constituents currently trapped in what has become a union of debt so as many lament the mind-boggling tales of the corruption that spew out daily from amongst the high stewards of Nigerian state, even in the face of excruciating poverty, as many lament, the lack of electricity and the decay of infrastructure all around us, as we tremble in the security nightmare Nigeria has become for us, as we feel the pangs of dwindling economy fortunes, and discriminatory distribution of opportunities, we make bold to inform us today that the 68 item federal exclusive legislative list is the tab from which all this evil flow from. And so the only uh, remediation, the only remediation for this cause that we have found ourselves uh, in lies in turning off that tab. So I will have my sister, um, Augusta, I think, uh, to actually, there's a video to back up what we are doing today in terms of uh, uh, the constitution. So this again is tied to constitution, even though it's called the exclusive list, it's tied to the constitution. So let me go ahead and play that video. And do you know that even the constitution that we use today, which is the 1999 constitution, denies what is called in law or touch turning. Mm. In other words, there is no referendum, there is no plebiscite. The people of Nigeria did not vote to say this is the constitution we yes. want. 
It was imposed on us by a military decree. And yet it remains the ground norm. I mean, what a misnomer. We are not in a dictatorship, but we are running a constitution that we didn't vote for. Hmm. And our administrative units have been carved on the basis of that constitution, supplanting our regional The constitution that operates in Nigeria today is a fraudulent, uh, mischievous document foisted on Nigeria by a departing uh, military junta. In fact, it is Decree 24 of 1999, uh, which will have been a mere transitional instrument for governing a country of the stature and standing of Nigeria within the international community. I, I would have thought that the first item on the agenda of the government that came to power in 1999 was to address the issue of that constitution, its legitimacy. Uh, because like the Patriots observed, it told a lie against itself by saying that we Nigerians uh, under God have agreed to live together, blah, blah, blah. There was no time when we were asked that question. And Nigeria, I believe, still uh, requires what lawyers call an autochthonous constitution. A constitution that, uh, uh, is ca that captures the needs and interests of the Nigerians. A, a constitution that uh, finds legitimacy in the eyes of the citizens, not one handed down from low and high by a military wound. Our present extant constitution is an imposition of a military, a supreme military council that was not elected by anybody, that did not respect any known parameter in its recruitment except seniority in the army, that was lopsided in terms of its geographical identity of membership, imposed a constitution, enacted it like a legislation, it was not subjected to a plebiscite. It was not subjected to a referendum. In law, you say it's not a touch on us because the people did not agree that the 1999 constitution is their constitution. We didn't vote for its approval. So it's not cognizable in law as a valid constitution. It has been imposed of us by sheer force. And no government has had the courage to subject it to a national plebiscite. And if you do, most Nigerians will say, this is not our constitution. We've created local government and state administrative structures that do not obey any known parameter. We've taken away the sovereignty of natural resources from our people and concentrated in an omnibus and amorphous federal government that is characterized by inefficiency over time. But what is Shoika as a man of knowledge? has just expressed the fact, unlike, you know, individuals that parade themselves as professors of constitutional law and constitutional lawyers, senior advocates and the rest, who still continue to defend the 1999 constitution as if it doesn't matter the source, it doesn't matter that it's a forged document by claiming that the people made it and it has been shown that the people didn't make it. In a suit that was filed on behalf of uh, Antonio Naro, Wale Shoinka, Bishop Bonigi, uh, Dokubo Asari, Rafu Wazurike, and a couple of other uh, like Yerima Shetima who just gave that ultimatum. Yeah, for the, he was part of the signatory to the lawsuit that was filed on their behalf by the uh, Secretary General of the Lower Ninja Congress. I dare to tell this nation today that this is the problem. This constitution can never give us progress. This constitution can never give us peace. This constitution can never give us unity. And unfortunately, most of us in this National Assembly, we don't have the spine to face what we need to give this republic to have peace and progress. What do I mean? This constitution has 68 items. 68 on the exclusive list. This constitution has only 12 on the concurrent list. And those 12 are written so nebulously, so fraudulently, that you know that the intention is to even undermine those concurrent lists. The formal name of this republic is Federa.
Republic of Nigeria. Unfortunately, we don't run a federalist system in Nigeria. Otherwise, what is so unique about all those things that are in the exclusive list? In this chamber, we try to federalize the police system. In this chamber, we failed. Every crime is local. And the solution to every crime is local. The earlier that senators in Nigeria summon the courage to say, we should not continue to deceive ourselves. Nigeria is threatening every but and groups. When we lie to ourselves and we're reaping the fruits of lying, we are victims of the lie that we call our own, the social contract, which is another name for the constitution. We say we in Nigeria give this constitution to ourselves. We didn't. It was imposed. And it's not working. It's centralized. And the good things of life are not available for Nigerians. And they are crying. And you begin to blame them. You, you don't blame victims. You blame the system that produced the victims. This constitution is not made by Nigerians. It's imposed. A federal constitution should be truly a federal constitution. You don't centralize everything. Nobody can fix this system. It's like putting square peg in a round hole. It wouldn't work. It's not Buhari's fault or Jonathan or the previous ones. They, uh, they were handed and still being handed instruments, i.e. the constitution, that cannot work the way it is. Let us do an agreement. Constitution is an agreement that we agree to live together by these rules which we would spell out about governance. This current one is a fraudulent one uh, and, and it's given us victimhood because we never did it and they say we did it. If somebody say you did something that you did not do, is that not a lie? We went to court, the case is in court, praying the court to say look the Nigerian people never did it, the court kept adjoining, part of the problem we have. The case is still in court, in Nauru started it, a lot of uh, distinguished men and women up and down this country have their signature there. The case has not been taken. All right, we'll also anchor at that point. Uh, Dr. Amos Akingba is in Adeko and Afeni Ferry Chief. We appreciate your talking to us this morning. It's my great pleasure. All right, thank you. That's the end of that video. So as you can see, a member of the Legislative House telling us that the CCA item, the exclusive item on the CCA list is what's bringing us down. So we are going to shed light on it today and Sister Augusta will uh, continue on this topic. Yeah, thank you very much, Sister Muna. And um, unfortunately, the video didn't show, but you, you all have the audio. I just want to, in, in order of how they came up, the people that spoke, um, you have Tiffany Anwodo, you know, is a brilliant attorney, a two-time federal minister, and presently the present President General of Ahanis and Libo worldwide. He spoke about the Constitution. We have Professor Aki Oyebode, who was the head of international law and jurisprudence University of Lagos. He also spoke about the Constitution. We have uh, Mr. Mark Olise, um, the LNC Director of Public Communications. He also spoke. We have Senator Adeye at the plenary of Nigerian Senate. He was the one holding, you know, shouting that. Uh, the exclusively the state exclusively is the reason why uh, Nigeria is the way it is. We have Dr. Amos Aki, a development strategist and a key Nadeko chief tail. Uh, you know, these are the people that spoke in that video. We have, we're going to upload the real video on our page. So I just wanted to let you know that um, people spoke about the constitution and this is 68 exclusive list being the reason why we are where we are. All right, so let's continue. As the Lower Niger Congress and its eminent alliance partners undertake the monumental task of unwinding the, oh, sorry, winding up the failed Lugardian experiment of 1990, 1914. Hey, we have our um, PowerPoint. <laughs> come, come with us as we build the searchlight on the 68 items in the federal exclusive legislative list of Decree 24 of 1999, wrongly termed the 1999 Constitution, 
which constitute the actual shackles and miracles by which we are locked down into our current misery. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, say these things one by one. You know, we're going to go through the list one after the other. So number one, the accounts of the government, of the federation, and of offices, courts, and authorities thereof, including the audit of these accounts. Yeah, like we said, you see, everything is in the exclusive list. That's don't touch. To audit the account, they have the account, whatever they are spending, whatever they are doing, you cannot even audit it. You can't touch it. Stay stay away. You, you can't, can't even see it. <laughs> you can't see it. You don't know. If they try to sponsor terrorists, you don't know. You don't know. Whatever they are doing with your money, you don't know because you can't audit it. It's in their exclusive list. Yes. Don't talk. Don't come. We don't want you. Yet you are in a nation and you're part of it. You don't even know what the money is being used for. That's mm -hmm. how uh, Buhari smuggled in. When the people, they were at the uh, National Assembly trying to, I've forgotten what they were trying to argue on. We're still arguing and talking. Buhari smuggled in. So like, they will spend the money. Mm -hmm. Well, they have the key to the treasury. Yeah, exactly. The key to the treasury. You don't know what is happening inside it. They put one forward and put the other one to block it. Mm -hmm. You don't know, you don't know. And you don't, you are not allowed to know. Like they get 100 billion naira to Boko Haram. I was saying they exactly. want to uh, rehabilitate Boko Haram. Mm -hmm. They are like, oh, we don't even have um, uh, regular amenities. And you can give 100 billion naira just to uh, tame Boko Haram. So that, that's, that's scary. So number two, hands and ammunition and explosives. Mm -hmm. this, this is big. This is big because it's big, it's, yeah. it's the crisis we're having, the security crisis we're having. The states and regions cannot secure their people mm -mm. against foreign invaders. Like what is happening in Benue and the killing of, okay, see the killing of that guy, is it Ghana or Ghana or that Ghana. name, that terrorist? Ghana. The huge amount of money that guy is mentioning, mm -hmm. he's telling them 350 million that he will not, they even offered him. 350 million, he's saying no, that he wants billion, 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 he billion. He wants to kill off entire uh, uh, state for them and for them to take over. So, and the state is incapacitated. He heard when the governor was saying that the, the guy was ready to accept amnesty, to say all the things that happened, who the people that um, employed him, mm -hmm. they got him. But somewhere along the line, the Nigerian military came in and killed him. Killed him. Because they do not want him to talk what he knows. Mm -hmm. So the security is in their hands. Everything they're in charge of it. Your people are dying. You can't secure them. Mm -mm. Villages are being sacked. Towns are being sacked. Indigenous people of the land are being sacked. ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram, Fulani headsmen are all in our space, running amok. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because somebody has systematically rendered the place to be ungovernable. They made it as if the governors have nothing to do. They are mm -hmm. there, but they can't do anything. The government is useless to the people. Mm -hmm. Who and what reduced our leaders to be mere stooges? See, do they look governors? Mm -hmm. Beggy, beggy governors. You have to go to Abuja and beg and say, they are killing my people, now come. Cry, cry, senators. Who made it possible? The 1999 constitution. Why do we have to cry to safeguard our people? Why do we have to go around begging them to come and give us some mission to protect our people? Yes. With one, as leaders, as governors, as senators, these are the things you swore to do. That's why the people voted you in. Now you can't do your job because your hands are tied. Who tied your hands? What tied your hands? 1999 Constitution. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, now let's go to number three. Aviation, including airports, safety of aircraft, and carriage of passengers and goods by air. Okay, that one is serious. That one is serious. Go ahead, Sister Equal, Sister Muna. Ramona, are you ready to say no, anything? No, I'm trying to see if I can make this thing work. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. So, in so aviation, uh, aviation, our airports, international airports and local airports. Okay, let's take, for example, Igbos are the most traveled group in the entire world. 
There is no set of people that can move anywhere. Correct. Outer space of the world. If you get there, you see Igbos. Mm -hmm. They are everywhere. Even in the moon. <laughs> in, the, in the moon, I'm sure that there. <laughs> they are everywhere. Mm -hmm. Even where they say nobody can exist. We are from uh, a, a tropical place. But my people are in temperate region. Very cold place. Igbo people are there. Mm -hmm. But guess what? We do not even have airports, international airports in our land. Sad. We have to go to another people's land to beg them to travel, to go and to come back. Our elderly ones, they have to, you know what it takes to get my mom out? So we have to, I, I have to be here making plans. Oh, are we going to Abuja? Or are we going are to we Lake? Going to are we going? They have to go through all this stress to go and see their children outside the world. We travel a lot. We don't have viable airports. If you go to northern parts, Boronu, mm. Brinin, Kebi, all those names that you've never heard, Maybe they have standard we... airports where their people are not even traveling. Nobody's traveling. They are inside farms, hidden inside forests, looking for who to kill. But they have airports. Mm -hmm. they have then my people do not have airports. And to think about it, the Enugu airport that, w that they were supposed to clean up, Look at look at what uh, who was <laughs> you saw how they did at Enugu Airport. Is that, that an airport? That caricature of an airport. Is that an airport? Is, is that, that an airport? It's a death trap. You get in there, you will crash. <laughs> eh? If you see our airport, you would cry. It is just like one local bus stop, like one local bus stop somewhere. But anyway, it's in the hands of the federal list. And you know what? Are you using it? As a, an item on election, on election, we're going to build up for us. Uh -huh. We're going to build up for. We're going to so that you vote for me. So foolish one said, "What our son could not give us, and uh, 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 now some man is coming to give us." Okay. Are you people with this doubt? Somebody is frustrating you. Mm. Otua wanted to do all these things, but she was frustrated out of office. Mm -hmm. So can't us, can't we see that there's a systematic approach? to make sure that we are not who we ought to be. Frustrating everything. We Everyone. have to beg. We have to beg for what is our rights. What hmm. are, who has made us, why are they marginalizing us? What is it that they are using? What is the tool they are using to marginalize and enslave us? What tool? The 1999 Constitution. Yes, ma'am. That's it. So number four, awards of national titles of honor, decorations and other dignities or dignities then number five bankruptcy and insolvency banks so, banking i want to add bank banking bankruptcy together bank banks banking bills of exchange and promissory notes okay take that sister uh, equi number five and six number five and six i know you mentioned something about ports which i have not even finished i don't know if i can take you back there before no, that's, no that's that's probably... number two number three there was ports and airports am i right no it's an aviation including airports safety of aircraft and carriage of passengers and goods by air oh so okay that we're, just that. That. Okay, yeah, we're right about that yeah okay. then okay. Is talking about awards of national titles you know that okay. one um, yeah, that one we know already now. Okay. It's they share it to who they, they share it to who they like, want. Uh, they even gave it to this man, uh, Dan Maria, just <laughs> that is taking it. Dan Maria. Why is that killing them? You know, <laughs> it's crazy. We can we can we have so much to say about these things that they confiscated and then use at will to do whatever they want to do. Mm -hmm. Banks, we need, we know that the, even this is even ebooks that started banking, a lot, mm -hmm. a prominent names, mm -hmm. but they crushed all these things. One day they will say you did this, you gave this person loan. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, a bank like Bank of North, they went into the interior place, set it up. From that bank, they share money to their their people to do business. Mm -hmm. So they give capitals to their people. When they finish, they close the bank. Exactly. They did, they, all the people that they and gave they, money they would to declare bankruptcy. They declare bankruptcy. They declare bankruptcy. They declare bankruptcy. And yes. they can do about it. And there's nothing you can do about that. People are not even aware. People are down there struggling and doing all those stuff. 
They are the ones that will open which bank, and then, now they're having uh, Islamic banks. And mm -hmm. those banks, mm -hmm. no interest. No interest. So why are people are borrowing money from Fidelity Bank with interest? They set up their own where their people will borrow money without interest. And if you, that you are from the South, want to take money from that bank, you have to convert to Islam before you can do yeah. that. Mm. that is what so is sad. making it possible? The 1999 yeah. that's the corporate. That's why they're able to do that to you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Are we even talking about the bill of exchange? The exchange rates. Exactly. Grow the change. You know that they, it's within them. They are the one with forex. They are the one changing yes. money. Mm -hmm. You understand? And you are wondering how when people uh, uh, people from their community will change a dollar for two for 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 two naira or for twenty naira, then others from the eastern region will change the same one dollar for four hundred and fifty naira. You start wondering what mm. is going on. And wow. Augusta, you know that time this Buhari came in, that time he came in. You know, he came in because it was after the Igbo boys doing business. Doing business, exactly. There was no money, no dollar for people no to dollar buy. Everywhere. Then, while that was going on in public, behind, they were giving money to their people. At mm -hmm. one dollar. <laughs> one dollar, whatever, whatever rates. And then, it's like, you borrow, you take the money from the loan, and one naira, one dollar rate. Now go and sell to the Igbos as one naira, four hundred. Why wouldn't they be so rich? And uh, but you know, it's like when you stab your foot. The Igbos are the ones in charge of the economy, trading and buying mm -hmm. of that yes. uh, uh, dead country. Amen. You did that thinking you are doing it against the Igbos. Mm. That is how the economy crashed. Crashed because the Igbos are the ones in charge of. The buying business and buying and selling. If you crash the ebooks, you crash your nation, crash your economy. That's true. That's how the economy okay, goes. They have to sell it. What, whatever yes. they are selling, they have to sell it at the rate at which they bought it. Yes. So, inflation, I mean, all the go away, you so they have to do it the way that it's supposed it, to be. It's that simple. But it's not, simple. they don't have brain now. How would they know? How would they know that it runs around that when you do this, it will not really affect to the other one? You are pushing evil man, but you kill yourself. That mm -hmm. is how they destroy the nation by themselves. Mm. Anything you do to us, you kill yourself. That's right. And, and that's, that's what we're that's telling our people. When you are not a policymaker, somebody can wake up any day that they want and destroy what you're doing. So that's what they're doing. They can wake up and decide they're going to sell you a dollar for $1 million a, a naira or whatever they are charging you. When you are not part of the policymakers, they will take you down. And these people are the policymakers, and they have this 1999 constitution that they have put in place to make sure that nothing that you do ever works. Works. Nothing that you do will ever nada. work for you. Nada. So it's like you're running in a circle. You're taking your retirement money. You're doing whatever. You're uh, taking money, stealing money all over the world, thinking I can bring you home and build an industry. They are, the first, they have to allow you to even build the industry to start with. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we have that's, to we have to bring down this constitution. There's no there's no two ways about it. Two ways about it. No all right, that's right.